Good evening, everyone. How's your week going? Hope everybody's having a good week. I know a few of my customer friends are under the weather, and I'm here to wish you all the best and that you all get a speedy recovery very soon. Know that you're in my heart and in my thoughts, um, and that I really miss you. So that's to them, to Marriott and Ty. You guys, I just love you to pieces. Um, to everybody else, welcome. Thanks for joining me. Uh, we're going to do a finger pour. So it will be in two sections, but I'll attach them so it will only seem like one. And the colors we're going to use tonight are Artie Sue's Langridge because I thought I really, I haven't used these colors in a while. So we will be using them tonight. These are beautiful, beautiful Langridge colors. And if you've worked with Langridge colors, you will know that it's a very um, thick, thick powder. And so what I do is I make them into a paste with my little, little tub of uh, Part A resin. I make them into a paste. I've showed you, we've got another video on how you do this, but it's really easy. You put in as much powder as you want and you mix in with just part A resin and uh, on the website I have, so you're not wasting any of your equal amounts. I have little uh, four ounce containers of just part A if you want. Um, and you just mix them until it's the consistency that you like. Thinner, more like toothpaste, more tarry. Um, but mix them really, really well because if you don't, there will be a grit. And that's why I do do this because just mixing this right in with resin, um, you will definitely get a grit because I don't know if you can see, but it's very very gritty but the most amazing colors um in language i wish we could you know get them here on a regular basis but okay so we're going to start tonight and we're using those three blues and we are going to use the um, rose gold that i made up into a paste if you remember me doing that I made up that rose gold, so that's going to be the fourth color in this combination, and that is what we're going to do. So, we are, at, I will you'd be happy to know, on our way to doing the marbling technique that I talked about the other in the last video, asking if you'd like me to do it. I did the paper, the paper, I did it, and there's little videos that will be all attached into one until tomorrow, or when I do tomorrow nights. Um, I did the paper first, you gotta get the paper ready. Uh, it's a chemical that you put on them, natural chemical, softens the paper so it absorbs it. Then you've gotta thicken your water, and that is done with the, um, Carrageen mixture, and I do a video on it. It's all going to be attached, but it's sitting in the fridge. Uh, they they ask you in the information pamphlet, and it's a big one, uh, to leave it for 12 hours so it thickens the water for you. And the reason we want the water thick is so that the paint sits on top of it and doesn't sink to the bottom or it's not going to be any use to you so that's doing that so then tomorrow we will do that video but tonight we are doing a finger pour that um, the technique came from Sue Finley and we're gonna do that tonight 
and my hubby took me for Timmy's. Yay! He sees his surgeon tomorrow, so we will know how everything is going. Okay, so I've already put some clear resin on here. So let's warm this up and spread it around. I prepped my board this time because I wanted the base to be, oops, I just got some glitter on there, but that's okay, it will be covered, to be gold. So it's spray painted in a gold. So. There we go. Spread you out. Okay, so let's put you up here. And I think I would like to start with my dark blue and And I'm using it all because I will be coming down in 45 minutes to spread this all out with my finger. Oh, and guess what? That wasn't even the darkest blue, but that's okay. Now I'll come in with the darkest blue. I'm using it all. And now we will use the lightest. And I'm going to do it here, and I'm going to come around and do it under here. And maybe let's fill in here as well. Okay, those are my three blues. Now, let's bring in the rose gold and I'm going to do the same thing but in the center of that blue I'll bring it yeah okay let's I've still got some of the rose gold left so let's use it Okay, so I'm going to just quickly run over this with, do I want to add some white in there or no? Because I have enough resin left over to make some white. How about we do just a little bit of white, not a lot. Just some fine lines. There we go. Okay. So now I am going to hit this with the torch just so they will blend in together a bit, warming up the the resin because there's no bubbles to have to pop whatsoever but let's warm up that resin okay and now I'm going to leave this like I said for 45 minutes then I'll come back down and I'll turn you on and we'll do 
a finger swipe and add some white glitter to the mix. Okay, guys, see you in a few. Okay, well, we are back 45 minutes later. It's kind of spread out on its own. So, I'm not sure what I really want to do here. But, I think... We will just do, right? Okay. Now, let's warm it up a little bit. Not too much because I don't want it to move any more than it is. I love this. Let's see if I can bring these points. There we go. Very good. Very good. And we'll bring this one. Bring these ones around. Okay, so that caused a few little bubbles. Okay, now I'm going to get a little one of my spoons and put a little bit of white glitter in here. And hopefully, because this has set up for 45 minutes, the glitter will not spread all over the place. stick and pull that glitter around a bit. Got that one there. So let's bring from the same area up here and follow this line coming down this way. go and I'm going to leave it just like that we good we good okay so I'm going to bring you down 
and show you what it looks like tonight. And then, of course, you will see it tomorrow when it has dried. So let's pull you up. Just a few areas of the gold showing through the spray painted gold. The blues have blended nicely. The rose gold is really sparkly. Just what it needed because there is no, no shimmer to any of the blue. So this gave me just enough shimmer and then adding just a bit of the glitter was pretty good. I love this right in here. And we've got one cell because there's no chroma chaos or anything in it this time. This is all the effects of doing the resin. Look at this over here, can you see that? Hopefully you're seeing what I'm pointing at. And there's just enough of the white, the little bit of white that I added in certain spots. So I am glad I added that little bit of white. So there we go. So guys, Thank you very much for joining me this evening with this finger swipe. And again, thanks to Sue Finley for coming up with this technique. I really enjoy doing them. This one's different than the other ones. Well, they're all different. Never do the same thing twice. So thanks, guys. You have a wonderful rest of this week. Today was hump day, so you only have two more days till the weekend. Night, guys. Okay, so this is part two of the marbling. So what I've done, what they tell you to do is get a half a gallon of warm water, okay? Uh, distilled or soft tap water and add a half or sorry, add a level tablespoon and a level teaspoon, one of each, of the carrageen, 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 okay? And you add that into half. So I poured half the water into here, and now you've got to mix it up really good because it will gel. If you have an electric blender, you can use that and use a bowl. Um, but I just was a little hesitant to use my electric flute food blender for this, but you know, so I'm doing it with a whisk. And again, I'm using, they asked for a half a gallon of warm distilled or soft water. Okay. Then you mix, take half of that half a gallon and pour it into a bowl or something like this and add your one level tablespoon and one level teaspoon to this. And then when it is all broken up, we put it back in with the rest of the water and you let it sit for 12 hours in a cool environment. Could be your fridge, could be a cool room in the house if you've got a cooler basement. Um, I have a fridge down here, so I will sit it in there overnight. But you wanna make sure that you get all these so the blending part is the longest part of this whole uh, setup. Blending the carrageenan, carrageenan, 
here again and then letting it sit for the 12 hours. And what that does is it thickens your water. And the reason you want the water thick when you're marbling is because you want the paint to sit on top of the water. You don't want it to sink to the bottom because then it is absolutely no good to you at all. You want it to sit at the top so you need your water thickened and that's exactly what this carabine does. And then tomorrow night we'll be able to, or tomorrow afternoon, we'll be able to do our first together marbling. Okay, so guys, I'm not going to bore you with this. Again, I'll just give this to you quickly. Um, you take a half a gallon of warm distilled or soft water. You pour half of the half a gallon, so a quarter of it, into a bowl or a tray. And you mix in one level tablespoon and one level teaspoon of the carrageenan and then you mix it all up and then when this is mixed up I'll have a muscle on this arm like you wouldn't believe no when this is all mixed up I'll put it in with the rest of the water the other quarter of a half a gallon and put it in the fridge okay so that is that. I will continue to stir out these lumps. Um, I also saw that if you do this for quite a while and you still have a few lumps, you can strain those out. Okay, so don't don't you know go nuts if you can't get rid of every every lump, but strain them out because you do not want them in the water when you lay your color down, or it will sh it will show on your picture okay okay see you later good Thursday evening guys okay this is part three this is the big one uh, I will attach all of them together tonight before I upload it we are going to try marbling okay uh, so I did all the parts to show you how you do it I'm so not sure if this is going to work, but you know what? We're having fun and we're learning together, so uh, let's get started, okay? So, as you will see in the first and second part of this, I got all this prepared in the last few days. This is our thickened water, thickened with the... Um, the car carrageenan okay and sat in the fridge for 12 hours actually more than that oops look what i just did sat in the fridge all night long so here we go we're going to give this a try i'm going to start with the darkest color by the way it came with four beautiful colors green yellow purple and blue and red and orange. I'm not sure about other colors and where you can get them, but I do know that whatever this paint is has a bit of a weird odor to it, but um, nothing that'll make you run for your um, masks, okay? So, you have everything ready. You have it ready, your colors are ready, stirred, and waiting, you've got your brushes that you made up with the uh, plastic set that she gave you, or you could use your own brushes if you don't buy the set and just buy everything separate. I've got my colors made up, so I'm gonna also try something else. And over here, I have a tray for rinsing it afterwards with clear water, and then I will hang it to dry behind me, so. 
Sebastian's up there watching me out through the window. Okay, so wish me luck. I think I'm going to start with my darkest color. And I think I'll make it, let's make it the biggest. So you dip your brush or these plastic things in. and you drop them on the water. And it spreads out and it is sitting on top, guys. Okay. Now let's do the blue next. These are kind of not in there even, but that's okay. Okay, it's not really showing that it's blue, but I got it in there and I got it stirred up good. Yes, no? Okay, let's try it now. That's better. So make sure your color is stirred up well. Don't shake, because you don't want bubbles, but stirred well. Okay, so I'm gonna add some, a little bit more purple. Now I'm gonna do the yellow, so let's stir. There are some bubbles in my yellow because I did accidentally shake the container, but let's see if I can pick up the yellow without any bubbles around it. According to the video I watched as well, when you're, see how each color spreads out? When the colors stop spreading out, it means you've got enough, just enough. So I'm going to leave it there because they are still spreading, but I'm going to leave it there because now we are going to do the next step. And that is taking this very sharp comb. And I am going to put it in and pull it. Am I in? I'm in. Okay, no. Pull it straight down. Okay, I guess I don't have enough color on there, but that's okay. We, should I try some more? Let's try some more. Let's put some more color on there because we definitely want this to really show. So we want the purple and the blue and the yellow to really show. They're not spreading out so much though. So and we don't want it to sink, so I think I'm going to leave it. I am going to leave it, and we will rake it again and see. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I didn't put the rake right down to the bottom this time. I just sort of left it on the surface, under the water, but not right down to the bottom. And so, we got that. So, now I'm going to take the bigger rake. And I'm going to go from side to side and get this cool design. Now I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to wipe these so that the paint 
doesn't dry on them. Get them out of the way. Can you see that? This is actually kind of cool, guys. I'm glad I let you talk me into it. Okay, now I'm going to try something that I did not learn how to do, but I have seen done. So we are going to see if I can do this. I'm going to take the green. And I'm going to drop it. with an eyedropper and I'm going to take my stick and I'm going to pull it together and pull out like petals or leaves, sorry. Okay, and now where did I put my towel? Wipe that off and I'm going to Take some red. What you don't use, by the way, in your paint, you can put right back into your um, containers. I'm trying to do bit of a rose idea at the top but not so good that red's not very heavy beauty is it there we go that's better well not perfect but you know what I will learn Oh, there's a bubble that doesn't want to break. There we go. I will learn. I got this. Okay, so now guess what we do. Now we take our paper. And we start at the top. And you lay it in flat. I think that's what... Oh well, I don't know where they are right now, so I just got some on the back and I didn't mean to do that. Okay, here we go. Ready or not. There is my first marble. So now I bring it over here, and you don't submerge it in the water. You rinse it off. Okay, because you're, you're rinsing off the uh, extra, but you're also rinsing off the, the sticky caribbean. And now I'm going to hang it the best I can. Oh, it is running a bit. Maybe that's too much water. I don't know. It got the underneath stuff. Or maybe I should have rinsed it more. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Hold on, let's see. Yeah. You get all the extra stuff off. And there's your colors. Can you see that? It's not perfect, but kind of cool. I definitely like the design underneath and it, it really took. So maybe that's the trick is not having so much, just doing the back. And okay, so let's hang it. to dry and now I'm going to see if I think you're supposed to do this with newspaper
but I'm going to see if it works with paper towel. If not, I'll end this video with you guys. And This is supposed to... Well, it worked. Oh, and we did lose some to the bottom. We did lose some to the bottom. So, see, so you could do this until the paint's out. And then you can use this water again today for another piece if you wanted to. See, that all went to the bottom. That's unusual. I wonder why. Okay, well, I'm not set up to do another one anyway. This is really interesting. That did go to the bottom. Actually, do you want to try one more? Let's try one more. Just for the heck of it. Okay, so we'll see if this works. We'll do purple. Okay, there's our purple. Let's do yellow next. Actually, it seems to want to show up better this time around. That's weird. Maybe I should have left the whole thing sit a little bit before I started the video. Maybe it needed to settle a bit. There's a bubble. Um, what color do I want to do? Let's try some blue. Blue. Not a lot. A little bit of blue. Let's try some red. See, they're not spreading out as much, so it's getting thick with paint. She had a much bigger tray, so she could uh, do more with it. So just, okay, just for the hell of it, let's add a little bit of green, okay? It'll only be, oops, wrong one. Okay, so now let's do that again. We'll take Let's do it. Okay. We'll take the small one. And remember, don't go all the way down like I did the first time. Just go down. And you're getting that really nice effect that I kind of had in my resin last night when I did the finger swipe. Okay. Now, instead of the two-tiered tooth... Oh, let's try this one, but do the same. Oh, it's longer. That's okay. One side sticks out. Okay, you know what? Let's try it this way now. so much you could try. We could be here all night trying different things. Let's try this one. Going this way. Ooh, that really combined everything. Okay, and I have one piece of paper left. 
That's all I prepared. So let's try this again. that it's wet here we go are we ready you get to see it before me there we go you know it's definitely something that's going to take a lot of practice To get you know the right consistency watching a lot of videos the whole nine yards to make sure you get it right and I'm not sure you know what I may not have put enough of the allium on the paper and that could be why it's not soaking it up completely who knows right um, live and learn so we'll let these dry and that's that it was quite the experience it was fun it is fun uh, it's messy <laughs> but what art isn't that we've been doing okay eh? um, but it is fun and I I enjoyed it and I will watch more videos will this be my new thing no, I love my resin, but this is interesting and, and we'll try new things. And if you guys um, learn anything new about it or come up with videos that I could watch and learn, that would be cool if I had paper ready now. Um, let me know. So there you go, guys. Cheers. We just did our first marbling for Resin Pigment Canada. And these ones I won't, but when I get good at it, when I get good at it, it is definitely something that you could resin over top, right? So there you go. Okay, guys. Happy Thursday evening. Thanks for joining me. This was fun. Bye for now. Oh, wait. I just thought of something. Well, actually, I was thinking about it when my husband and I went to Timmy's tonight. Mariette, Tyne, Melissa are all my friends that I say are down under. So do you guys, when you, if you ever talk about me, say my friend up over? If you're down under, am I up over? Just wondering. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay.